Happy May the 4th, friends. Today we are working on a gimmick-inspired Imperial Occupying Stormtrooper. I want you guys to be safe with this. As you can see, I am using a regular X-Acto blade, and I'm just nicking up this Stormtrooper figure to add dings and scratches to where maybe the helmet's been bumped around through training or working in the lower levels. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more custom figures. This trooper is a rookie, so I didn't go too crazy with the dings and scratches. I didn't take any major chunks out of the armor. Next, you're going to use some scotch bright. I decide to go with the green, which is a little bit softer here. And, you know, as I work on this, there is some cat hair in the scotch bright because my cat can't keep her head um, away from things that I'm working with, which is fine. Uh, she just wants to be included. She wants to make her own Star Wars toys, so that part is optional. I'm just getting around taking the shine off of the armor, and this is also going to cause little micro abrasions, a little micro marks into the softer plastic, so that when we weather it, it appears really well and beaten. As always, I like to support the fine folks over at Folk Art. I'm using their matte licorice acrylic paint for this. I am going to put a little bit with a really, really, really wet brush. You can see how wet that is there as soon as it touched the paper towels. You should wear some gloves. Big shout out to Craftsman for the uh, Wear You Some Gloves logo sticker that I have coming my way. Thought I'd throw that here in the video just as a reminder. Um, you can see I get this wash all over me, but essentially it is just a really, really, really wet mop brush dipped into this black matte paint. I'm going all over the figure. I'm getting it in all the creaks and crevices and, and little gaps and scratches that I've created. And now I'm just taking a paper towel and I'm wiping it in one direction. I try and wipe in one direction because that's the way that grime falls. It, it, it goes down towards the ground. Gravity works that way. And I'm just cleaning it off. Just wiping, wiping, wiping until I'm satisfied with the appearance. This is a trooper on gimmick. So of course, you know, anywhere on the lower levels where they're exposed to the atmosphere and the internal city system atmosphere is uh, fighting that. It can cause rain at any given point. So you know, just consider that if, if you're in a location where there's not a lot of moisture, maybe you wouldn't have a lot of runs and weathering. But for this case, we are. We, we do here at Gimmick Starport. It's, it's really damp and really rainy. And you can always just use a dry cloth or like an old sock, um, an old t-shirt sleeve. And now I'm going over after this kind of has had a minute to dry just to get any more points, rub off um, some of the higher spots. And I'm pretty happy with that. The red on the helmet that I'm applying is a signifier of the troopers on gimmick, especially the lower levels. It is a vampire red, and I'm just using the finest tip uh, brush that I can. This guy is a rookie. He is, you know, fairly new to the Imperial Stormtrooper Corps that's stationed on gimmick, so he gets only half of the bottom grill of his helmet painted. He hasn't earned a command stripe yet. He hasn't earned a uh, Imperial signet on his armor yet, so... I want to put this on here and then we'll weather it up a little bit later. As they are on gimmick, they're so far outside of the Empire's reach, outside of time and space. They don't know specifically when they are. Getting new armor is uh, up to chance. A lot of things can't be replaced or can, so the rookies usually get hand-me-down armor, which is why his is really roughed up. I decided to give him a scarf because, again, they are far from the Empire. Uh, here I am using a wash that I made with a pumpkin orange bottle, which had a little bit of paint, of it, paint left inside of it, excuse me, and I had some brown chestnut paint to it and some water and a little bit of dish soap, and I'm just going over this scarf from Quill from the Mandalorian figure. It works really well on other figures, layering it in into the crevasses and the, the folds of the scarf, and then I'm just coming in again with a dry paper towel, wiping that up. Because he's a rookie, he's being hazed by the other stormtroopers on the level. I have a little Pac-Man bumper sticker, and uh, he's going to get it slapped across his chest because he is a rookie, and the older troopers have decided that's who his sponsor is because he'd spend he'd rather spend more time hanging around the arcade and looking at you know people coming through. Now he's trying to prove himself, so they call him Pac-Man, and they put a Pac-Man bumper sticker across his chest, almost like it's a faux sponsor in the vein of NASCAR. Uh, which actually kicks off some events on Gimmick, which will be fascinating to watch, but I really just pressed it in there, made sure it was on nice and tight. And then I popped off his helmet to stick the scarf on. I want to make sure it's hanging the correct way. And then the helmet goes right back on. Now with the helmet uh, popped back in place, he's situated. I'm going to go ahead and get that X-Acto knife again, and I'm just going to come in and do a little bit, of, little bit more weathering, some fresher weathering. I'm chipping away at the brand new red paint, making it look like, uh, you know, again... Because it's a new application, 
he's already banged up. Those helmets, you know, get put through the ringer. We've seen stormtroopers. Usually the only place where they're stark white is when they're being dropped off on a planet or they're on an Imperial star cruiser and or the Death Star, and they have to be there to look presentable for the Imperial officers. Here is the blaster that came with the figure. I'm just using a little bit of war paints, shining silver. I'm going to go ahead and dry brush the blaster, um, the edges, the high points, so it stands out in photographs, makes it pop, and also makes it look like it's a little bit older. Again, these are hand-me-downs from other troopers. Perhaps this was pulled off of a dead trooper, you know? Maybe, maybe this is... Uh, the slight stink of death is still in this suit, but it's an older blaster. So here they are. Here are the bad boys of gimmick together with their droid um, taking up space near the arcade. And that's Pac-Man. We'll get him set up. We'll take a picture. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. If you like what you see, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next uh, from the channel. As always, I do have a Ko-Fi link in the description below. That helps support the channel. I really appreciate that. If you guys need anything, please leave a comment. Otherwise, be well. Thanks for watching. May the 4th be with you, and to sweet me.